Yo, yo, what's up everyone? This is your boy, Vintage Fire Alarm Guy. Happy Fire Alarm Friday. Today we're doing System Test 9. Yep. So, anyway, let's get started. So, here, obviously, you know, we still have the panel. Nothing has changed. As you see, you know, there's no, nothing's being used on the relays right now, which we might, I might be adding something for the trouble relay pretty soon. Probably not right now, so. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. So anyway, let's get started. So, anyway, for our first uh, pulse station right here, I replaced the BG12 and I put the Alarm Industry Products 270 SPO. Yep, I, I hope I will be getting an Edwards version hopefully soon. So the Alarm Industry Products one, I'm gonna see if I can get an Edwards one. So, yeah. So that's pretty much that. I have the i3 like usual. Next test, I'm gonna replace it now. So. Yeah. And of course I still have the center from last test. So yeah. So anyway, that was the pull stations and the detector. Everyone's here apart, the alarms. Right over here by the door I have my system sensor non-88 mass. This is one of them. This is the um BRK model, not the pitway version. This is the older one with the brake tabs. So yeah, this one's the high pitch mass. So yep. It's that. Pretty cool. So, yeah. And right over there, I got I have the same thing. Exact same one, of, like what the doors got, but it's set by the panel. This is the low pitch mask, so. So, yeah, that's the devices. So, <clears throat> one thing for, one thing I want to um, let you guys know um, before I start this test. From uh, System Test 7 and System Test 8, um, sorry they were uploaded daily. I was at my dad's house for the weekend and all that stuff, so I apologize. I did not get to upload this in time. And it's gonna be the same thing tomorrow, so this is test um, 11 and 12 are gonna be uploaded today with file on test. No, this is test 9 and 10 today. So you guys get two extra bonuses this is of test today. Yay! Alright. Anyway, <clears throat> without further ado, that was that. Was that. Let's go ahead and we will pull down the fire alarm system. Start off with the 270 SPO. Here we go. Alright. Grab our screwdriver. This thing's cheaply made. Alright. All right, now that's reset, we can reset the system. Here it goes. All right. So, I'm thinking, um, now I guess let's do the sentry. I mean, the sentry is a pretty good pull station. I'll be resetting this pretty soon, so I'll restore this hopefully sooner and later, so yeah. But anyway, nope shit, Charlie. Let's just go ahead and pull the alarm. Here it goes. Alright, go into the sentry, let's reset this. Alright, go ahead and get this in. Alright, it's a little tricky to do this with one hand sometimes. Alright, sorry I'm kind of rushing this, but I'm just, I just had a lot of stuff I gotta do today, so. So yeah, sorry I'm kind of rushing this, but. Yeah, alright. Let's go back over here, and we reset the system. All right, and now the last thing we gotta do is activate the smoke detector. Let's go up here, and we'll activate the smoke. All right, find the hole. Where's the hole? There it is. What? Oh, there it is. Uh, these are loud. No, uh, yeah, they, for some reason, these things sound like the Thorgard lightning sirens. In my opinion, they kind of sound like a, 
like a Thorgar lightning siren. Yeah, it's like one of those sirens that you would hear in like a golf course or something like that. Or like a park district or like a park or something like that. Or a baseball field. You know, you know what I'm saying, y'all. Yeah. But, <clears throat> yeah, so that was System Test 9. Uh, it's the System Center 988 Mass Horn Strobes. So System Test 10, I'm going to be replacing the I-3. And I'm going to be replacing the pole stations. And the notification appliance too. And yeah. And what's it gonna be? Oh yeah, you know what you're seeing right here? Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing vibratones next. So I bet y'all I bet a lot of you guys are gonna really like the vibratones when we do them. And if any of you guys are wondering or asking about this panel, if it's is it fully rectified current or is it filtered DC? It's filtered DC, so I mean I can run mechanical horns on it. So yeah, so anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel.